everyone welcome back to Marriage Koi Pond hope you can hear me above the noise but I've got this RO up and running so I just thought I'd run through it with you it's a system built by Andy Finch a, filter, a Finch Filtration and Innovation Systems Limited nice fella Andy Basically, it's a four membrane system. And there is two 28, sorry, two 20 inch paper filter canisters there. One's got a 20 micron cartridge in it, and the other one's got a five micron cartridge in it. So I'll just, I'll just quickly run through it with you. So basically, I've teed in there, I've plumbed in the feed into my two inch pump pipe work. Basically, the, water, the water's entering this cartridge here. So this would be, this first one would have a 20 micron cartridge in it. Second one, will be the 5 micron cartridge it exits at the end there look goes along there, along there and into this pump it's got a solenoid there and a solenoid there and it's run on two timers so basically what happens when it switches on it energises these solenoids, this solenoid here and the top one, it energises to allow water to pass through when it switches off, it obviously uh, no power goes to them solenoids so they shut to stop allowing, to stop water going past. high pressure pump there, pumping it about 80 psi at the moment. Three flow meters for the gauges. You've got waste water there. Pure water there purified water there. The purified water line basically I'll just heat into my big blue pipe work. So basically that just runs along there. Goes through that solenoid. But it's independent of these membranes, nothing to do with these membranes at all. And you can adjust you can adjust on that pressure adjuster there how much purified water to allow into the system but basically that bypasses all of these membranes it's got nothing to do with that just go through that flow meter there to give you a reading now you really want to match that reading with your wastewater reading because obviously that purified water is replacing the wastewater at the moment, 1.94 litres a minute being produced of pure water. A TDS meter here. Let's see what she's doing. Now, eleven parts per million. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> Put it, if we click on the uh, 622 parts per million down to waste. So that is all the crap, that is all the chemicals, metals, dyes, tannins, all the total dissolved solids that's being pumped to waste.
11 parts per million that's what's that's what's going through those membranes so that's not a bad thing at all if uh, if I haven't got that adjustment quite right on that purified water line I haven't got many worries because I've got an auto top up here anyway so as long as it's under as long as I've got it just under what the waste is producing then this will take up any slack that's a big blue pre-filled cartridge Eighteenth and a fifth, we fired this up. I had a TDS of 370, a pH of 7.8, and a KH reading of 9 coming out of the tap it's on the 18th. Seven days later, well, it's eight days actually, it's Thursday, so it's eight days later, and this is what, this is what I've got so far. It's brought the TDS, TDS down from 370 to 260 and I've got 7.5 as opposed to 7.8 so that's not bad uh, that temperature is quite low actually 16 but I've deliberately kept it low because you have to bed these uh, membranes in so I didn't want the temperature fluctuating too much didn't want it cold and I didn't want it hot so I've kept it at 16 but this weekend that should be going up to 18 gradually throughout June hopefully by the middle of June should be up to 22, 23 and we'll keep it like that for the rest of June, July, August and we'll see what September's like temperature wise hopefully might even be able to keep it up in the 20s going into September uh, and by raising the temperature that makes this more efficient it produces more pure water uh, the higher the temperature the water is Now, I probably haven't explained that. You know, this is all coming straight off the uh, straight off the bat. You know, I haven't rehearsed this, so it might not be very articulate. But if you have any questions or any comments, then obviously please please put them in the comment section. But so far, so good. Oh, and the other benefit is uh, the clarity of my water. Unbelievable. I sit there at night with the pond lights on and I just cannot believe the clarity, you know. So with that, let's just go outside. Flag irises are out. As are the alliums. Can't really see much because of the glare. see much should have a polarized lens on here really but please take my word for it the difference that's made eight days to the clarity of this water I might do a night time footage one with the pond lights on. Stunningly clear now that water. I'm 
looking for food. Also, you know, I think it's benefited them because although that's still only at 16, that temperature, I think it's benefited them because they're uh, constantly looking for food. That's a nice ace of tree that is. The rose bush has fallen down, I'm going to have to strap that back up to the fence. Again, apologise for the noise. So like I say, this is running, I uh, don't know if I mentioned, I've got a 3.4 kilowatt solar panel on the roof. Uh, so this is only running during the day. It's an hour on, hour off. So it's running six hours a day. Set up on those timer switches up there. Any questions guys, any comments or welcome in the comment section. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.